Hello BSc or BA Tech via Tech viewers. Are you in your first year? Well, this video is definitely worth a watch for you guys. Welcome everyone. Today I'm going to discuss the do's and don'ts for your first year in your BSc or BA Tech via Tech. Let's jump right off. First, the do's. Go back to the basics. In most BTEC colleges, the first year is a time to revisit old topics and revise and cement your basics. Therefore, most students will have to go to their old books and brush up on their basic knowledge. This will not only help them to understand further concepts better, but it will also help in building a solid foundation for your studies later on. Build your basics as strong as you can. From the very basic concept like eukaryotes, prokaryotes, cell theory, etc. Second is indulge in academic activities beyond the curriculum. Even in your first year, try to get indulged in any sort of researches, short term, long term, workshops, conferences, seminars for better knowledge of the field. As a student, this requires you to search for knowledge in reference books, libraries and research papers. You need to try to accumulate as much knowledge as possible through this 3-4 years to prepare yourself for a career within your chosen industry. Next point, work on your skills. Yes, work on your presentation skills, communication skills as it will be very much helpful in the future. In fact, even try to get give the poster presentations or PPT presentations in your college conferences that happen time to time. Keep yourself updated. About what? Obviously in your field by reading magazines, journals, research papers, PubMed, Google Scholar. So if you, uh, you can just Google for that, these platforms are really very good for any kind of knowledge purpose. Explore your fields of research and study. Reach out to professors at different research institutes which you might be later uh, landing on or it's your dream institute like IITs, IISC, universities abroad. So research about the work you're interested in. This might be too early for you to be interested in anything as you might not have a good idea. But once you start your classes, you will be exposed to the different subjects. Choose your favorite one and then research about it. So for this, obviously, you need to start exploring what exactly you want to do in the biotech sector. And first year is perfect for that because your coursework will not be that heavy. It will be minimum. Once your department practical start, you're going to be drained from spending hours in the lab and will not have time to sit down and seriously explore the different fields of research and study. So better start from the very beginning. Make plan for future studies. Just give yourself a little time and ask yourself how far you want to go in this field as the intensity of your effort depends on that. If you want to go till postdoc, then ready to be spending around 8 or 9 years after your graduation. So in case you want to spend so much time and dedication, you will have to properly research and look for the opportunities. Also along with that, you can check out where you want to do it so that you can have an idea about the opportunities for abroad, find out the admission requirement and other details which will be necessary. This is the most important part. Start preparing for competitive exams right away. Yes, do not wait. If you want to do MTech after this, then just take three hours a week and brush up the topics taught to you. And you can also take a question bank for the previous year question papers. You can also start preparing for gate biotechnology and just without taking any pressure, uh, take it up as a knowledge quiz. Start solving aptitude and the questions about the subject that you have been taught in the class. If you did it, I will guarantee that you will get, uh, clear these exams without taking any additional tension or pressure right after your graduation course ends. And in case you are a BSc student, then you start preparing for your MSc exams. So you can prepare in common for IIT JAM, TIFRGS, GATE, BITSAT, QSET, AIMS, ICAR, CADB. These all different different exams are for your next uh, step 
in your career ladder if you want details of any of this exams in uh, further additional amount do let us know in the comment section now let's come to the don'ts yes so first thing is miss out on making note don't uh, think that this is the time where you can be relaxed actually this is the time where you should really start with dedication because in school you you had to do what you what you needed to do you were kind of spoon fed but here nobody is going to spoon fed nobody is going to give you ready made notes and notes are very important till your last point of education in fact even sometimes further beyond that so how much ever time you are getting use those to make proper notes from standard reference books because as i mentioned at later point of time you will hardly figure out any time for that that time even if you want to make notes beautiful ones colorful ones then also you will not have the time so why not utilize this time uh, dedic with dedication and you will enjoy studying too from your own notes don't feel embarrassed asking questions okay so even the basic question like if you don't know what mitochondria is then ask it as there is nothing wrong in this even if you have not studied properly in 12th that's okay but once you progress further you will realize that if your basics are not clear then uh, you are facing difficulty in understanding the more complex topics so ask as many questions as you can clear all your doubts even if they are very very simple ones next is avoid reading standard reference books do not miss on that okay because these reference books even though they might seem to be very huge and the contents might seem very long to read uh, some complex language also will be there but you have an entire year the first year to yourself a year is a very long time so do at least start preparing the uh major subjects which is biochemistry molecular biology um then you have cellular biology you have beautiful books carp uh then you have leninger cooper is there lordish is there even genetics also so start brushing up in fact setting the foundation stone for all this major subjects in which later you are going to advance in during your research studies okay so it will help you understand Uh, and uh, clarify your concepts and as i said set a set a deep foundation do not forget to use college library also okay because there uh, this is the opportunity where you can actually study from hard copy books later you may not be able to purchase them you may not get access you may have to do it from soft copies like how you get in biotechnica e study portal but you uh, the time till you are in college at least try to use those libraries for magazines also not only for uh, the standard reference books but whatever study material you are getting with relation to your academics please do go through it do not miss opportunity to utilize time yes as i said uh, along with your academics you can also go for some extra curricular courses the certification courses try to take some online classes during your first year as well the first year is going to have subjects which are relevant to your course but then you can take up some additional type of subjects as time and interest permits not only that you can join internships during your vacations do not skip your internships of your summer vacations as it will be helpful for you to know your limitations as per this field and it will tell you in which skill you need improvement and in which you are a pro for most it will tell you that whether you are made for this field or not if job is your goal after graduation then why not start your training right away or so called internships that you have in any lab or company in your summer and winter vacations as it would help you sound more technical about instrument and that will enhance your chance of getting a suitable job do not shy away to network try to take the initiative to meet your departmental hod and professors during your first year itself that way when you enter the department the following year you will have a good reputation and relationship with all the faculties this will be very helpful during answer script discussions departmental events attendance and also participation in various sessions also having a good professor to back you 
can make all the difference when it comes to getting a good final year project, research paper or even some guidance when you feel a little unsure. The first year of any degree is always the best. So try to meet actively uh, other people, make friends, learn from them and don't shy away from approaching them when you need help. Try to build good relations with them as they will grow to become supports for you throughout your academic life. And also do not forget them to uh, add them to your professional social networks like LinkedIn. Undergrad is a lot about growing holistically and not just academically or professionally. Last thing is do not assume to be spoon fed. Yes, you have to learn to explore on your own. One of the biggest transitions from school to college is that you will no longer be fed information. So to navigate through BSc course or BTEC course, you need to learn how to do your own due diligence, make use of reference books and explore subjects and topics on your own. This is a skill that comes with patience and practice. Also, not every study method or technique that you used in high school is going to work in college. So all these things you need to explore as well and figure out a system that will work best for you. So there, do not forget these important do's and don'ts point if you are in your first year of BSc or Biotech. All the best everyone. Thank you.